Welcome back, everyone, to the Bears Travel Plays YouTube channel. Today is Friday, October 11th. We're going to be breaking down another postseason game between the Dodgers and the Padres, but we've got some recap graphics to take care of first. Yes, I'm still behind the screen. Not sure what's going on. Reset the Wi-Fi didn't work, so maybe it's just a site thing. Maybe it should, maybe tomorrow, maybe in a couple days, it'll just all of a sudden work again. But for right now, technical difficulties are still a thing. Uh, I'm just going to keep rolling with it. We got the Royals in the money line going up against the Yankees. I think it. I saw it was top five, maybe one to nothing in favor of the Yankees. So close game. Uh, both pitchers are wheeling and dealing right now. Garrett Cole hasn't given up any runs, but he's still in there. We got the over one point five runs. Not sure about MJ Melendez. I've been at a uh, anniversary dinner all night um, with some family, so I just got home, just started to record. So I'll have to check on those stats in a little bit. Here's a look at the leaderboard uh, updated from the Mets game. The other night, we did get a couple wins, 13 and 12 now in the postseason. We got to keep on keeping on, trying to get some wins here. We're going to start with the Padres and Dodgers game. A game pick here. This series so far has been a lot of fun. Postseason baseball is so much fun to talk about. The regular season's okay for the first 20 to 25 games. But after that, it starts to become a grueling task to break down all those games over a 160-game season. But whenever it comes to postseason baseball, there is always something fun that happens day after day after day, and this series has been one of the most entertaining to watch so far. The Padres, they had their chance at home to close the series going up against the best team in baseball, and they decided to lay a massive A going up against the Dodgers in game number four. Now they've got to go on the road facing off against God knows who in hostile territory trying to advance in the next round. I thought the Dodgers were going to be throwing out Yamamoto, but I'm not entirely sure who they're going to put on the mound in this game. Currently, there's nobody on the mound. Let me check really quick. To see if we've got a projected starting pitcher for tomorrow. No, it's still too to be determined. So the Padres are going to send out you Darvish. He started the first game. I'm assuming that the Dodgers would throw out their first pitcher as well, but we'll see what happens. It might be a bullpen day for the Dodgers. The injuries, the inconsistencies in that starting rotation for the Dodgers, it might come back and hurt them in an elimination game in the playoffs. As one of the best teams in baseball with one of the highest payrolls in baseball. You can't get three consistent arms on the mound in the rotation for the playoffs. It's absurd. I know it's not entirely their fault with all the trades, but they are the, with the uh, injuries, but they had that trade deadline. They only went out and got one arm and he got rocked in game number two against the Padres. So I don't feel bad for the Dodgers only having a couple guys in the rotation that they trust to throw out their game after game that are starters uh, because we don't know who the Dodgers are going to be throwing out in this game. I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult to judge who's going to win, but I'm going to take the Padres to win this series on the money line in this game. I like the Padres more than the Dodgers. I hate the Dodgers. This has nothing to do with the stats, nothing to do with where the sharp money's at, where the public money's at. It's that I don't like the Dodgers. I'm taking the Padres here because they're one of my favorite teams in the MLB. Obviously, nobody can touch the Washington Nationals, but the Padres are a fun team to watch. I do think you Darvish on the mound for them. He can find a way to keep his team in this game. I do think it's going to be a little bit more high-scoring game, though, this is an elimination game. Everybody's going to be throwing out everything in the bullpen, depending on um, how the first three innings go for both these teams. We can see a lot of run score in this one. We have some high-scoring games so far in these series as well. So wouldn't be surprised if this one hit the over. If you're looking for a total, I would go with the over. But for myself, I'm taking the Padres. I'm going to take them on the money line. I know who's going to be on the mound for them. He's been a pretty consistent arm this season, even though I do think he's going to give up a couple runs. I trust this Padres team more than the Dodgers in the postseason as well. They've been miserable in the postseason over the last several years that Dodgers have besides one season. Give me the Padres here on the money line on the road to close this game out. It would be the most Dodgers thing in the world to lose an elimination game at home with the second highest payroll. Uh, let's go over to the best player props of the day. We are going to be taking one of those big name players for the Dodgers. Mookie Betts over 1.5 bases going up against the Padres. The Dodgers can thank Mookie Betts for a hot start in back to back games. And it should have been back to back to back games because I'm pretty sure Profar robbed that home run in the first inning. Could be wrong, though. I know it's back-to-back -back games that Mookie Betts has hit a home run in the first inning to spark this Dodgers team. It wasn't his fault that Walker Buehler gave up six runs in the second inning in game number two, but call me crazy. I think the exact same thing is going to happen in this game. Bottom of the first inning this time with him being at home, he's going to get a matchup going up against you, Darvish, and you want to talk about a guy who has way too many pitches. I couldn't even get them all on the screen. It says on Baseball Savant, that he has eight total pitches, but I was only seeing numbers uh, as far as seven. I'm guessing he has a sweeper in there as well because that's what it says on Baseball Savant, but there was no percentage for that pitch, so I didn't put it on there. But I think we're doing a little bit too much here, Darvish. You might want to just fire off five really good pitches, leave the rest behind. It's just way too many in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe people want their pitcher to have nine pitches in the arsenal, but for me, 
I uh, just let's just get let's just get five pitches in there. But uh, look at the numbers for Mookie Betts in the regular season. He did have a 280 batting average going up against right handed pitching, and that's going to be the matchup tonight. We're also going to see a steady dose of sinker and slider. Those are the two best pitches that Mookie Betts hits on the season. We're going to see that 40% of the time in this game. Mookie Betts has a 359 batting average going up against a sinker, a 314 batting average going up against a slider. He's also really good going up against the fastball, and there's not a whole lot of pitches for him going up against split finger or knuckle curve because a lot of guys don't have those pitches, but I'm sure he's going to handle those just fine in this game. I'll take the hot hitter here, over 1.5 bases for Mookie Betts as the play. And for the pitching prop, we've already talked about him a lot tonight. Uh, you Darvish, kind of hands are tied here because there's only one game on um, for the uh, Friday night slated games, but we're going to take you Darvish over 1.5 bases going up against the Dodgers. I do want the Padres to win this game. I do think they're going to win this game, but I do think Darvish is going to have a little bit of struggles in the, in the first or second inning. You can call it what you want, but the Dodgers in game number one, you can call it rust. Um, you can call it you Darvish just pitching well, but the Dodgers had a week off of baseball, probably did nothing in that time. They came out slow in game number one. The Dodgers were really not ready for game number one, and it showed, especially in the first seven innings, going up against you Darvish. He was really good. Seven innings, gave up just three hits, one earned run. I don't think that's going to be the case in this game. The Dodgers seem like they're very motivated. They're pretty confident coming into this game, especially getting that big win on the road going up against the Padres in the last game. I'm not saying that the Dodgers are going to win this game outright by any means, but I don't think they're going to get off to a slow start like we saw in game number one. I think both these teams will most likely have three-ish runs by the end of the fifth inning, considering who's on the mound for the Dodgers. But statistically, this is an okay match for the Dodgers because they're fourth in baseball this season going up against right-handed pitching with a 253 batting average. They're also decent going up against fastball and slider, but they are really, really good going up against the sinker this year. They're one of the most consistent teams in baseball at hitting that sinker this season. There's really no weakness whenever it comes to these pitches that you Darvish is going to be throwing, so I really think he needs to try to mix up his pitch arsenal. Maybe it's a good thing he has eight pitches here because if he doesn't mix things up uh, from the first game that we saw him, he could get hit hard in this game. I think he will mix it up a little bit, but I still think the Dodgers are going to get a couple runs on him. So I'm going to take him over. 1.5 runs before he's pulled from this game as the play. Let's take a look at the recap graphic. We are going to be taking the Padres on the money line. I threw the stats out. I have no idea who's on the mound for the Dodgers. If it's a bullpen day, great. If they're going to throw out a starter, great. I'm taking the Padres on the money line because I want them to win this game. Mookie Betts over 1.5 bases against the Padres. That one's more of a numbers play. And then you Darvish over 1.5 bases going up against the, or 1.5 runs, sorry, going up against the Dodgers as the pitching prop there. Guys, it's going to do it for the MLB Picks and Props for Friday, October 11th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, Please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching.